Hey, what's going on, guys and girls? Hard Drive 163, Las Cruces, New Mexico. Oh, 2x4, it's here, 98, and uh, I'm not sure what the other box is, but uh, why don't you check this one out? We're just going to open it from the bottom, that way it doesn't show all the names, etc. Didn't show up too bad. I'm not sure what the weather's like everywhere else, but it's nice down here, finally. No heat, no air conditioner. It's cooling off at night, though. Alright. Looks like the magnet base. Pretty good. Pretty messy sometimes too. This one of the older ones. Looks nice. Get some stuff out of the way. <coughs> no, it's not a turbo. Looks like a General HP 40. Decent radio. There they are. Set up properly, that is. These are pretty dirty out of the box. If you don't have the knowledge and the test equipment, then uh, usually they're pretty dirty. Right, this Wilson mag mount. Coming in for the LMR 240. Took it apart already, and uh, I just might do a separate video on this. See, when they get to this point, it's like they need machine work. These rivets, see how rusty everything is inside there? These rivets appear to be physically attached, but Odds are they're corroded on the inside too. And that's all been rusted pretty bad. We'll see. I see you have some type of penetrating wheel on there. Yeah, when these can't be sealed, and if you live anywhere there's salt in the air, then uh, it's going to corrode. We'll see what happens with this one. All right, General HP 40. Got to get the connector for that one. Hope you guys are getting those antenna systems done. Checked. All the brackets in the studs because it's going to be raunchy pretty soon.
Shell 20. Low power. So that's a, that would be like really loud up close but have no range. High power. Uh, that's probably gonna be the same way. Yeah, some harmonics going on. I believe I know who did this one. Like you told me. Let's take a look at it on the inside. Yeah, I've seen much worse. Much worse. It's cold, so it's going to be a little off frequency no matter what. That's close. 27-205-06. Let's take a peek on the inside. Someone's label used to be there. And that's definitely a whack pack label. Looks like his work. Sometimes people are afraid to send them in, you know, because they'd be too hacked up. But as long as you don't let too many other people work on them and experiment on them. Peaked and tuned and all that other neat stuff, it won't be so bad. I've seen a lot of this guy's radios, so it's really not too bad to go through it. This would appear to be loud up close, but not really have the range. And again, when you see the same type of tune, receive is going to be about the same. It doesn't look bad. I've seen worse. AMC's in it. You can tell the way with the waveform projected. Typical diode. Not too bad. Someone just called me the other day about another one of these or turbo. You know, if it's just just call me or send me a note with the radio, it's the smartest thing to do. Let's see if there was a note. This one. I don't see one. Wait a minute, here we go. Alright, see. AR drive, General HP40 originally came from radioactive radios, just wanted to be set up right. I can make it a split, I don't want it to be a splatter box. Also, we talked about the Wilson mag mount. Good coax and N, including the box. And call me on the cell thing. No problem, man. Yeah, this won't be so bad. And again, always contact me first. You know, we'll discuss you know, who's been in it, how many times. Yeah, this will be no problem to turn this back into a decent radio. Y'all stay tuned in. You know who it is. We're gone. Click, click.